Welcome back everybody. So today I got a real treat for you. Well first of all, this is a commission I'm working on. I'm pretty excited about it. Side binary uh, commission. Looks pretty good. Just uh, I got a lot, of, a lot of ways to go on it still so don't judge me too harshly. But here we go. Wolverine 90. Now I'm about to show you an artist clinic on how to create a badass comic book. Now the art on here is done by Adam Kubert. This is really cool. Let's see if I can double cover at the time. Now uh, <clears throat> what's really cool about this issue is this was the last Wolverine issue before the lead into the Age of Apocalypse, which you'll see at the end of it. It ends all weird and on a cliffhanger. If you haven't followed the series and you know what was going on at the time. Then you might be confused, but you know, Mark Silvestri did Wolverine for a long time, and there's been other really great artists that have drawn Wolverine. But I think Adam Kubert is probably the best Wolverine artist uh, in history, in my opinion. Uh, he was the artist in the 90s when I was really into this comic book, and that's just what I feel. So, <clears throat> so this is one of the this is the throwdown between Logan and Sabretooth finally that everyone's waiting for. It's like the big throwdown. And um, you know what's cool about this comic is you have these really well well put together issue here where you have all these pages that fold out. You think it's just one page, it's like this double page. And I think uh, Kubert's art was just amazing on this. Detailed, I just realistic, I love the shading. Just fantastic. How are you gonna do that? And now we're gonna do this monstrosity. Four pages. Let me back up here. I had to do this with a phone because I knew this was gonna be hard to get into the picture, but I mean, let's just take a second and appreciate this for what it is. This is an excellent worm's eye view shot where we are looking up at the action. And the depth is great. You see the ceiling and how the, the walls taper off and everything. You know, Logan standing there, just all badass. Like, this is just, this is one of the things that really drew me to Kubert. And his style has changed over the years. I think when, in 92, when all the image partners broke off and started image, I think Marvel kind of wanted to keep that house style that was so popular for a while. And I think they had some of these artists that kind of do a similar style, like the Q-Birds, Adam and Andy. And uh, I think maybe, I'm not saying he was trying to be Silvestri because it doesn't look like Silvestri in my opinion, but it's definitely got the staple of the 90s art with the heavy shadows and the cross hatching and just a giant action. Larry Hama is probably one of the best Wolverine writers. He also had a really cool run with Silvestri. All right, so let's see if we can close this up right. All right, here we go. And there's another, turn this here. Just another awesome shot. I don't know if I'm going to be doing too much breakdown of this issue, and we're just going to kind of look at it and appreciate it for what it is. Try to get through here a little faster. Feel free to pause this and actually look at these in, in more in depth because they did a really good job of putting this together. And it, something like this got to be really hard to do. I think the premise of this book was Sabretooth had been brought in by the X-Men almost like in a rehabilitation aspect and Logan never got fooled by the way that Sabretooth was was tricking the rest of the X-Men so to speak and he waited till a time when they were alone and uh, he kind of gets under Sabretooth's skin right there 
I, I thought this was actually a really cool sequence. Just a bunch of shots of him working out. You know, getting ready for the fight about what he's about to do. It's just a really cool shot of him. Just simple, you know, simple eating dinner, watching TV, but just really well drawn. And faces, just great faces. Just another quick look. Really amping up what's about to happen. Logan goes through this sequence where I think he finally makes a decision to take Sabretooth out. Yeah, I know. When I was a kid, I didn't worry about collections and stuff. I opened up those cards and had them somewhere. But I'm never selling this comic anyway, so it doesn't matter. There we go. And you see with a lot of the image books, let's get that light out of there. And I think they really established a style in the 90s that Marvel started to kind of get into. And that was like the really heavy blacks, heavy inks, details of rendering. And I think Kubert was great at doing this, especially in his Wolverine run. Just some really good action to start out with. Advertising, gotta have it. Here we go again. I mean, this book was just chock full of stuff like this. It's just big, dynamic action pages. And I love how this starts up here, and this, we have this like. falling sensation and we go from way panned out getting closer 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 close up close up close up at the very end that's some really good story storytelling dynamics right there for artists to really pay attention to this whole page just easy to follow moves your eyes right across the page This book had to take a long time to do. Maybe it didn't, I don't know. But. It's not easy to draw this big. Face gets slammed there. <laughs> it's, like, it's kind of goofy looking, but it's cool. It really is not easy to draw this big because you got to imagine the comic books are drawn on that size paper, you know, and then they shrunk down to fit on the comic book. So that face right there is two of these pictures, two of these papers put together. I'm telling you right now, that is hard to do and make it look good proportion-wise and everything. There we go. It's a climactic ending. This is always kind of a staple of Wolverine popping two claws, threatening the third claw. And at the end, I don't even know how you pronounce that. Schlink? Yeah, probably something like that. Yeah, see how they're going to conclude in Weapon X number one, which. That was a pretty fun read, but I think that Kubert's work on Wolverine was just way better. And honestly, going forward, not that his art style changed, but I think the run that he did, I can't remember when it started, but 
after Wolverine got his adamantium ripped off his body by, Ma by Magneto, there was that, what was that? It was that a 10 issue run, five issue run? Sorry, I don't know that offhand, but there was just fantastic work done by Kubert during that time. But um, So anyway, that's it. Uh, this is my appreciating art. Adam Kubert's Wolverine 90. And I think it's just, it's an excellent book. It's a good book to collect. It's a good book to study for young artists. Um, get a chance, try to find it. I'm sure it's out there. So anyway, thank you for checking out this video. Please like, subscribe, and I will talk to you all later.